Yo, JD here, to Limits, and as you can see, we're at China here today for my third episode in Race Against Pole, and it should be a really, really good one here today. This is probably my best stuff I've done of my series so far. So again, if you did like this video, if you found it useful, and you want me to do more of these, then please leave a like on the video because it really, really does um, motivate me to keep making these. And thank you again for the support so much for reaching 9,000 subscribers, so less than a thousand away from the 10,000. And it really, really does mean a lot to me. But moving on to that now itself, as Jeff just keeps on talking continuously <laughs> just before this first corner, it's quite off putting. But as usual, getting a DRS as early as you can. And for this first corner, just before um, the break marker ball, the last one, that's when we'll be turning in, going with absolute maximum power. And you will be using as much as track as possible, try and cut back in on that curb as late as possible. Going in second gear and hold it to middle of the track because you get to middle of the track, that's when we'll be going up through the gears, short shifting to avoid the wheel spin. And for this next right hander, it's a very, very difficult one. Just before the curb, that's when we go down to second gear, try and attack this corner quite a bit. I find actually going faster in and definitely gives you a little bit more of a benefit than slowing fast out. As the curb ends on the right, go and sit gear, try and hold it almost flat out, hold it to the middle of the track. Soon as you do that, go down to third gear, then back up into fourth again to avoid the wheel spin. As the car strains, you want to go down to third gear, hold it for this corner, half throttle until you feel the car's getting straight, then go down through the gears once again, up into seventh. And just before this brake marker board, you want to go down through the gears, second gear, last minute, just to get extra turn in. And as you go into the middle of the track, that's when you want to turn to the right. Do a really wide line and try and cut as late as possible into that curb, kind of similar to the first corner. Again, you want to be short shifting, it really does help avoid the wheel spin. DRS as early as possible. And for this corner here, it's basically after, between these two balls, just before the curb. We'll go into second gear, trying to do a reasonably late apex into here. As soon as the car's straight, that's when we're going up through the gears. And just before the shadow, just above the balance of the track, we'll go down to fourth gear. Try and keep it at the track as much as possible. DRS, run to the line. And we have done a 34-4, which is a second quicker than today's pole time. And... That was a really, really good lap for me. Um, I know I had a extension warning, but if you pause it, I don't think it, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's still on the track, so that's why I continued. But this lap was a really good lap for me. And as you'll be able to see now, um, this is the setup I was using. I was actually using 1-1 one, one wing. Um, I just felt it was a bit better than 2-1 when I actually used that, but 1-1 one, one wing um, definitely seemed to help for me quite a bit on the differential. Um, I changed it slightly. Um, I just felt that just really helped me on throttle and um, just to avoid the oversteer quite a bit and um, just made the car a lot more stable for me. Um, same suspension as last time. So tyre pressures up to the maximum PSI um, really just to generate as much heat as possible and just to really give you the all, all round maximum grip. Um, and that's my setup here today and that's the lap. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Next track I believe is... I'm trying to think what it is. I actually don't know what it is but as always, thank you so much for the support, raising 9,000 subscribers, an insane number. Cheers and see you next time.